Good morning, good morning everybody, how you doing? Getting ready for another day, right here. We're in Oakwood, Illinois. We're already quite a ways down the road on this trip to Virginia. I've got a delivering Vinton, Virginia, first thing tomorrow morning, and then I go up to Woburn, Massachusetts, and then I go over to Beverly, Massachusetts, and then I end off in Biddeford, Maine. From there, we'll see what our reload is. It's Labor Day weekend when I'm filming this. I hope you had a good one. Not many people are out on the road, so it looks like a lot of you were at home with your families, and that's good to see. I'm taking my long weekend in two weeks because my wedding anniversary is on that weekend. We got married on September 16th, 2017. So it's gonna be our sixth anniversary this year. So instead of taking Labor Day weekend off, I'm gonna take that weekend off and a couple of extra days there, we're gonna go do some special stuff. The last couple of days I haven't been uh, vlogging too much. The videos were a little shorter. I just put them together and I realized that they didn't have a lot of substance to them. I apologize for that. When you vlog every day, some days are just not as exciting as other days. We've got this covered wagon. Conestoga trailer behind us. We call them roll tights. It's a tri-axle. The rear axle is a lift one. So it's not actually on the ground. And it's just like a flatbed trailer, except it's got what you might call rolling tarps. So instead of tarping your freight with this load, you can just roll the cover over it but you load it from the side. I found these truck stops here late last night. I got in pretty late. But we got it done. We're slowly getting our way down there. Tonight we'll be down in Vinton. I still don't know where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. We'll have to figure that out as we go. I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Old Blue's already all warmed up, ready to go. The law says I can start rolling in about 20 minutes, so I better start doing my pre-trip so we can get out there. Have you guys been paying attention? Have you been waiting for another one of these giveaways? We picked one winner so far. We're gonna pick a few more yet by the end of this month, but you gotta watch every video. Today's your lucky day. If you want something from Howes, maybe a hat like this, maybe a mug, I'm not too sure what they're gonna send you. If you'd like one, the way you get one, instead of emailing me, don't email me this time, because last time you just about broke my phone. <laughs> That's totally okay. If you want one, go down below to the comment section. Tell me about a house product that you bought recently or in the past. And tell me how well it worked for you. Go down below to the comment section right now. And let me know. I'm going to pick one comment and I'm gonna pin the winning comment if your comment gets pinned I'll reach out to you and respond to you there and I'll get a mailing address where we can send something to you so go down below let me know what house product you bought and how it worked for you Time to get on the road. So don't forget, I wanna know which house product you bought, when you bought it, and how you liked it. Did it work? And don't worry, I'm not turning Trucker Josh vlogs into some kind of infomercial channel where they're gonna try to sell you something every day. That always bugs me. I understand why YouTubers do that, because 
lot of YouTubers, they do this for a living, right? I wish I could just do YouTube videos for a living, but then I wouldn't be able to drive my truck. And I love driving trucks, so I don't want to be selling you stuff every day, but I will give shout outs to products that work, that I know, and that I like. And the people at House reached out to me a while ago already, and I've gotten to know them. They're really good people, just like people at Bullsnot. And I'll share with you products that I use that I think you might like too. They're related to my channel, right? I don't want to make a video about trucking and then suddenly turn around and, you know, try to start selling you like, beach towels or something. <laughs> I have people emailing me every day if they want, if I, uh, if I want to be sponsored by them. Right? And I said, no, 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 my channel's not sponsored by anybody but me. I mean, I'm not one of those channels that is just trying to sell something all the time. If I am going to try to promote something to you I want it to be something that's relevant to what I do because you guys are watching me because you're interested in what I do so if there's a product that comes along like house or bull snot little product placement here right for both of them right sure I'll talk about them if they reach out to me we develop a little bit of a relationship maybe a partnership it's not a sponsorship but we are we, we, we can work together a little bit right if I if I think they have some products that could help you Sure, I'll help them. And you know what? House has been nice enough that they want to send you out a couple of hats, a couple of mugs. I think I got a mug in here as well. I can show you it later. Where is it? I can't reach it right now. But uh, uh, they asked me to do a couple of giveaways on my channel here. And I said, sure, we'll think of some creative ways. We'll do four or five in this month. So maybe one per week, but you're gonna have to watch every day. You see, that way I get you coming back every day if you want a hat. Interstate 74 eastbound. We're just about at the Indiana border. This highway's gonna take us straight to Indianapolis. It looks like it's gonna take us right through the city. Hopefully we don't hit any big traffic today. I don't have a lot of time to waste. We're gonna be go, 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 going again. This whole week is sort of going to be a bit of a rush because we have the four drops and I want to get them off as fast as possible because I'd like the opportunity to reload this week yet. I don't know where my reload's going to be. But if I rush and if I hurry responsibly, I should be able to get unloaded Thursday. I think. Because we're going to be in Vinton, Virginia tomorrow, which is Tuesday morning. And then Woburn, Massachusetts, is another 600 and some miles, 650 miles. So that's a full day driving, 1,050 kilometers. So Tuesday, drive all of Tuesday, deliver there Wednesday morning-ish, late morning. And our next one in uh, Beverly, uh, Massachusetts, is I think an hour and a half, two hours away, as long as there's no big traffic jams. So if we get that off before noon, we go and get Beverly off in the afternoon, then we head up to Biddeford, Maine, and we get that done Thursday morning. If everything works properly and all the ducks line up in a row, we can do that. And then we have all of Thursday and Friday to get reloaded. Now remember, because I came down from Canada delivering this freight from Canada to the US, the freight I take back into Canada has to be going directly back, or the freight I pick up. So, I'm not too sure where it'll be or what it'll be, but <coughs> it'll have to be a load that goes directly back to Canada. I can't pick up in the US and drop off in the US. That's very illegal. So we'll be going back north. Maybe there won't be any loads. Maybe they'll send me empty up to the Toronto area and I'll pick up a load there and take that back to Winnipeg. I don't know. We'll find out as we go. That's one of the little fun parts of trucking, at least for me. You never quite know what's next. Sometimes that can be a little stressful. Depends if you need to get home for something important. But in a way, it's kind of nice having a little bit of mystery, you know? Something different all the time. All the time. I, I couldn't do a dedicated route where it's the same route over and over and over and over. I just, I get so bored of doing that. Remember I did city work for over a year there? It was really great, a great position and it got me home, that was during COVID, and we didn't know what was going on, you know, we thought the world was ending and everyone was dying. Uh, turns out, it uh, wasn't as bad as we thought at the beginning. So I was local for a while, and doing the same routes over and over and over again, yeah, and that, for me, 
personally, it gets repetitive, boring, monotonous. I like switching it up, doing something different all the time. Maybe maybe doing the same thing for a little while, but then doing something different like this. Like we head out, we, we went out to Prince, Prince Edward Island on our last trip. Now we're going out to Virginia and Maine. It's just switching it up a bit. I had to pull off the highway and check check the GPS. Leading me right through the city of Indianapolis. And apparently I-65 is a freeway that goes right through the heart of Indianapolis. I wanted to make sure it wasn't sending me like road for 28 kilometers. Sending me through downtown like it did in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island last time. There is a bypass that goes around the city, but if the I-65 is an interstate, it should be a freeway all the way through. And it's Labor Day weekend. So there shouldn't be that much traffic on the highway, right? There shouldn't be. It's a holiday. Everyone should be at home with their families. Taking Indiana 32. That'll meet up with I-65. That'll take us right through Indianapolis. So let's hope traffic is uh, in our favor and non-existent. Seventy West. Whoops! Now I gotta figure out how to turn around and go back. It looks like they've recently redone that interchange, and you used to have to keep left, right? And now you gotta keep right. I don't know. I got all backwards. Now I, now I gotta go turn around. I missed my turn. Where am I gonna turn around? I wanna go the other way. That's the thing, when you make a wrong turn in a truck, like... In one kilometer, keep to the left on, I think it's five south. Well, Karen won't get to go way around now, on I-65 south. I just want to turn around and go back north. Go back to my I-70. So here's 70 west, I don't want to go 70 west, I want to go 70 east. I need to figure out a way to turn around here though. So I'll have to find an interchange. In 400 meters, keep to the left on I-65 South. Wait, no, okay, I'll keep going this way, so I'm in the right lane for now. Oh man, of course, it's always on the days when I don't have a lot of extra time. I 
knew I needed 70 east. I don't know why I followed seven kilometers. I don't know why I followed 70 west. Oh, okay. So it wants me to go. It wants me to go all the way down to the. Okay, I can do that. Go down to the 465 eastbound, and that'll take me around the south side of India, Indianapolis, back to where I can meet the 70 east. Okay, that's what we'll do then. Not too far around. I'd like to get out of this lane. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There we go. Alright, well we're not... We didn't have to make too big of a detour. Just a little bit of a whoops. Pay attention to the road signs, Trucker Josh! I know, right? 70 east. We're not going west. East. Coming up to the 465 here. And the I-74. Two and one. What a deal. Turning up ahead here. I gotta keep left the in the right turning lane. Keep to the right on. I-465 east, I-74 east, I-465 west, I-74 west, and then keep to the left in 190 meters. Okay, what highway is it? You gotta pick one there, Karen. Oh, wait, can I turn from this lane? Yes, I can. In 600 meters, keep to the right on. I-465 east, I-74 east, I-465 west, I-74 west, and then keep to the left in 190 meters. Okay. So I want to turn right from this lane? No, I want to be in that lane. Good thing there's nobody beside me. In 100 meters, keep to the left on I-465 East, I-74 East. There we go. Okay, so this is our savior highway. This will save us from our own mistakes and bring us back to I-70 East where I belong with the I-70 East people. Okay, 465, take me back to my people. I messed up. Hail. It was an easy fix. Look at this car in front of me. Wow, that thing needs new shocks. That thing's got no shocks whatsoever. They're completely blown. Yeah, it's bouncing. <laughs> Riding like a boat. 70 East, Dayton. It's still 
pretty warm out there. It's 32 Celsius outside. It's a hot one. What's 32 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 32 degrees Celsius is equal to 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Doesn't seem as hot when you say it in Fahrenheit. I don't know why, because it's a bigger number, right? Trucks use left lane. Well then, I'm a truck. Why do they want us in the left lane? Like the left left lane? Or, or what? I'm confused. I'm going to get past this guy. Ah, there's a construction zone coming up and they want the trucks in the left lane through the construction zone. Gotcha. Okay. As we get closer to there, we'll move into the left lane if we need to. It looks like they've cleaned it all up already. Sometimes they leave the signs up, right? The construction's already done. Ohio! Find it here. No one knows what it is, but it is here. Find it here. Dayton, Ohio. Or is it Drayton? Drayton, Dayton? Dayton, Drayton? Dayton. I think it's Dayton. Dayton, Ohio. Three kilometers. Keep to the right on. US 35 OH4 South Senior. Gotta go around to the other side of downtown. And then we're gonna take US 35 East out of here, I believe.
just finished unloading. Only had two skids all the way to Virginia here for two skids. So I got right to the customer last night. I was able to sleep right here. Woke up this morning, bang, boom, got those skids off. Now I'm ready to go. I just parked off to the side here just for a bit, just made some breakfast and stuff. It's time to head up to Woburn, Massachusetts. It's a full day drive to get there. So we'll be driving all day and into the night again. I'm gonna go around the mess of New York City though. But we'll do that tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I'll see you then. Stay safe and be safe. Drive safe. Thank you.